The government has pledged to transition to targeted subsidies in the coming year. Dr. Ahmed Razman Abdul Latif from Putra Business School explores how PADU can play a crucial role in ensuring fair distribution of aid. What is lacking under the current system is that it's difficult to determine which recipients worthy to become the need based subsidy that are going to be introduced this year. The kind of missing link here related to the type of data, detailed information of the respondents who are supposed uh, to, to receive uh, such subsidies. And when we look into the launching of PADU, it will cover nearly 300 types of data. So we are talking about a very comprehensive kind of information that we look into the not just the income status, but on the household size, the number of dependents, cost of living based on location, uh, distance to working place, uh, whether they have uh, several types or asset or not, as well as the classification of B40 and 40 and T20 probably will be further refined, further revised to make sure that even uh, if you are in a M40 bracket, there is a still a possibility of you getting the subsidy due to the size of the household, due to the location of your uh, home. So this is something that is needed to ensure fair distribution of the subsidy. Throughout the trial and introductory period of PADU, Ahmed said the government must focus on residents in rural areas. The government must, must still must ensure that those who do not have that kind of uh, access or privileges can still uh, receive the subsidy by using a simple form of identification like uh, my card. So meaning that um, those who are supposed to give the subsidies goods eh, like um, a petrol station, like a retail shop, they, they must have the capacity or capabilities to entertain or to address this issue eh, where the recipients uh, do not have that kind of uh, advantages in terms of devices or any other access to online uh, information. Another thing is uh, to make sure that there will be no leakages, there will be no uh, wastages, even um, uh, any particular aspect of this process affected by any form of uh, corruption. Because uh, what we are seeing in the current system, that uh, there, there are still many incidences where the intended goods being hoarded or being stashed away by the retailers for the purpose of smuggling of illegal activities.